My name is Aaron Thien. I'm the Dean of NUS Engineering. The Faculty of Engineering, or FOE, is actually one of the largest faculty here on campus. We are also one of the top engineering schools in the world. We have more than 300 faculties and staff and close to 4,000 over students. One of the big trends that we see in the world today is the convergence of different technologies. For instance, healthcare, AI, you know, microelectronics. They give rise to inflections in both education as well as research. So at NUS Engineering, we are bringing together traditionally different fields to address some of these inflections and we are creating new multidisciplinary programs. We are very, very involved in some of the healthcare related projects, for instance, COVID test kit, nasal swabs, as well as various online real-time testing. At the same time, we have programs related to robotics, for instance, that relates to education. One example of this would be the Bumblebee project. I'm Ipo, and I joined NUS in 1990. I was trained as an electrical engineer, and I took over the directorship of the Innovation and Design Program in 2014. Innovation is key to the success of any organization. And innovation can only be achieved through a well thought out design process and engineering ingenuity. IDP provides the opportunity for students to come together and work with problems that they can identify themselves. The Bumblebee team is one of four major competition teams that we have in IDP. The other three are the Eco Marathon Car Team, the Formula Student Race Car Team, and the Nano Satellite Team. The Bumblebee and the FSAE teams are unique. They are student initiated teams. Many students end up picking up multidisciplinary skills. For example, the mechanical engineering students will pick up electrical skills, while the biomedical engineering students will pick up software skills. The key value of competition teams in IDP is that their experience has no boundaries. Students exercise ownership in their competition projects. They organise themselves in such a way that they pass on their experience from one cohort to the other. In order to win competitions, they learn to source for current technologies that would work well for the designs. And in this way, these students are also exposed to current technologies. In the end, they experience various failures and successes. And through this process, they learn to be resilient and find confidence in themselves in working with complex systems for which there was no well-defined solution at the beginning. NUS is a unique place, and the Faculty of Engineering at NUS is also very unique. In the sense that we have such a strong team of researchers worldwide that have come here and work with us. And we have such a strong partnership with some of the top technology companies in the world. And this is not partnerships that are purely academic. We are solving real-world problems. And the Bumblebee project has also led to a major spin-off called BX. My name is Grace. I'm the CEO of BX. I used to be an undergrad mechanical engineering here at the university. And we have now commercialized the tech into the startup. BX designs and builds autonomous marine vehicles to reduce the risk and costs of inspecting underwater structures. So it's done much safer and also more efficiently. The problem that was happening in Asia was that we were always using human divers, even in dangerous environments. And the reason is because we are always stuck in a low-cost situation whereby contractors are constantly competing based on cost. The only way to actually achieve a breakthrough from existing working conditions is if the robots can be deployed in a different way. In a sense, they are unmanned, so they are autonomous, they are self-thinking, and they can be deployed with smaller boats that no longer drives the asset costs of this kind of inspections up. So we get to you know, inspect while being safe and cost-effective at the same time. Like most big tech startups, it is challenging to go through the commercialization process from research to market. But we are supported by the university, investors, early adopters. So you just need a lot of uh, perseverance and good engineers to bring that vision to fruition. Complex problems will need disruptive solutions. So what I would like to achieve for the Faculty of Engineering in the coming years is to bring together these new research programs that address some of the toughest problems in the world. 
related to healthcare, energy, as well as advanced technology. Now, at the same time, we would like to introduce a new way of learning and a new educational program related to a change in the curriculum structure. We hopefully will benefit the next generation of engineers.